Every so often, the sun throws a tantrum, a coronal mass ejection, or CME. A CME hurls billions of tons of plasma into space, racing at over a thousand kilometers per second. It's a solar tsunami. Now, picture that wave slamming into a comet. It sounds like cosmic doom, but what really happens is far more fascinating. When a CME hits, it crushes the comet's plasma bubble, piles up magnetic fields, and floods a coma with high-energy electrons, sometimes five to ten times stronger than normal. Comets like 67P, Enki, and 3 Atlas have all faced solar storms. Their tails bent, broke, or flared in brightness, yet they survived. The sun may scorch their skin, but not their spirit. The blast can compress a comet's magnetosphere, triggering sudden outbursts and jets of gas and dust as the surface heats and cracks. Still, a CME's pressure is tiny compared to the comet's strength. It can twist or snap a tail clean off, but never destroy the core. In 2007, a CME ripped away Enki's entire tail in minutes, but Enki survived and grew it back. Comet 67P endured one in 2015. Three Atlas took a hit in late September 2025 and kept glowing as it passed Mars on October 3rd. Even Comet Lemon had its tail shredded on October 18th, 2025, and survived. And Lovejoy, a sun grazer that brushed the sun's corona in 2011, emerged alive, tail blazing behind it. Unless you dive straight into the sun, like most sun grazers except Lovejoy, you'll lose your tail before you lose your life. Three Atlas has already shrugged off one solar storm, proof that even against the fury of the sun, a comet can keep its cool. The sun may scream, but comets shrug. Thanks for watching. Bye. Mwah.